Yeah. 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 Snapshot of where we're at with a few of the big products. Right. You just have to hit the button on the side. Uh, if you get, you go left. You took it off. You click the click the actual button there, the radio button. That's that thing. Take that off. Shouldn't that do it? Yeah, try that. No, it didn't do it. We're gonna at least make it slow, <laughs> and we're gonna back up. Uh, this is the office remodel as you walk in the door at the high school for the central office. Uh, what's the carpet went in this weekend, and actually by now the baseboard's in. Well, that's my office and the baseboard's in. Um, we're moving in tomorrow. Uh, it's not 100% ready, and um, the counters are what's holding us up. Um, this is actually the conference room that we build into that space. I'm sorry. I don't know where to stand. I'll just move over here. How's that? <laughs> it's going to go at its own rate anyway. Uh, this is the hallway going back. John's office is in the right. In the back will be a records room. Uh, the conference room, I started to say, the uh, high school's never had a, uh, a private area for IEP meetings and whatnot, so that's really why we, we added that. This is the hallway going down to the new FCS room. Uh, we're eventually going to oh, wow. put the stuff in. Well, looks good. Uh, yeah, that's that's the old ICN room, and uh, uh, the heating and the heating folks were there today, and the electricians, and that'll come together. But we're anticipating that one being a little late. I just that you can't see the carpet. This is in uh, the front office. Uh, just uh, was recarpeted. Are you using those squares? Those were carpet squares. That uh, was carpet squares everywhere. That office didn't. Okay. For, I don't know why. These are the new partitions of the new material. This is in the high school. That these are uniform throughout. This is the preschool piece of equipment at Wall Lake Elementary, and you this see the really bright nice. stuff. Yeah. Really nice. I got a chance to walk through that. That's really nice. Yeah. And this is real similar to what you'll see out here. I didn't take any pictures uh, in this building because I thought we'd go for a tour later. This is uh, just a different shot of that in the courtyard at the Wall Lake Elementary. Uh, it's a delightful space. That's, that's ground up rubber on the bottom there. It's like four or five inches deep. I mean, you can fall on that and not even feel it. Yeah, it's kind of the standard, they say. It's very safe, or as safe as you can get it. This is just a picture of, of uh, carpet replacement, and this again is at Wall Lake Elementary. And they, uh, those are the squares, and that's what the, the guys have been using. Uh, the auditorium isn't done yet. Uh, I talked to Keith today, and the new carpet should be in um, hopefully by the end of the week or the first of next week. That one doesn't impact, and we also the guy is supposed to come with the screen. Okay, now here's where we get a little uh, alarms too strong. This is the middle school bathrooms. Uh, as you can tell, there's a little work to be done yet. Um, that's Bruce and the guys putting up those partitions. But surprisingly, it looks like it's in a world of hurt, but I, I think we're going to make it because the, um, the big, it's a matter of timing this stuff. Uh, the counters have been uh, put in. Uh, the plumbing is basically ready to go. Uh, that's all that, I call it Marlite. Uh, the washable stuff on the walls, that's all done. It's a matter of getting the partitions up and then putting the finishing touches. So even though I would feel a lot better if this was a picture of two weeks ago, um, we can't change that. The other thing, I just took a picture, is that Dave, and then Dale's going to be doing it here too, is mounting the projection units in the uh, ceiling. And then you'll also see that uh, there's been some replacement of whiteboards, especially in this building in, at the middle school. Uh, and the reason I showed you those is that those go hand in hand to be able to put, so I'll come back to that one, to be able to, to uh, go with uh, uh, whiteboard technology like what we have available in Cindy Webber's show uh, with the many else. And uh, so it's really part of the bigger plan that opens up avenues that we need to be walking down. This then is uh, in the entryway at the, at the uh, middle school, and uh, Danny added a television, and he will be uh, developing 
student activities. It's not just an announcement, but to actually show things that kids are involved in at the middle school that will be looped and then uh, portrayed at all times. Um, that's just kind of a quick snapshot. And then, truthfully, yeah, it was 4 o'clock this afternoon. I ran out of time. Uh, other things uh, that I didn't talk about. Um, didn't talk about this building at all. Um, I mentioned the roof earlier, and as you can tell, the the roof is the roof work is done, um, and the painting of the overhangs really changed the physical appearance of the, the building. Um, we ended up making a slight uh, adjustment, and um, and most of that came from the discussion with Earl Stone, who was hired by by uh, Academy Roofing to do the masonry that was built into that project. Was, there was $10,000 built in to fix some crumbling masonry in this building. And there's really quite a bit on the corners and stuff that hadn't, it hadn't been taken care of in a while. Um, but he said the design, and when you walk outside, pay attention. There's a group of so, uh, soldiers uh, that really give it a nice look. But for whatever reason, the soldiers are recessed back. And that looks cool too, except it also is one of the reasons that we've had problems with uh, moisture and brick cracking and doing all of that is because it provides a great ledge. And the other thing, if you'll notice, on the overhang here, it's got some other fancier name, but the overhangs that have been painted, uh, where the flashing comes down in the original design goes right into that area that's recessed back with the soldiers. So it's not rocket science to figure out why we have some masonry problems. And so I just okayed, uh, it was under the, I forget how much it was going to cost, but it was well under the threshold. And uh, Academy Roofing is providing some additional um, piece of steel. And then Earl is going to put that in and caulk it so that when water comes off those things, it no longer will go in and cause the same problems that we have now. In other words, it will solve the problem in the long term. Uh, the other thing is that um, uh, we'll get a price from, from Earl and at some point to recall all of that soldier area because we, and that's not an immediate concern, but it is by next summer at least. And otherwise, we're going to not seal this thing up and we're going to have problems again in the future. My philosophy on buildings is pretty straightforward is that you need to take care of them and we need to get into the notion of preventive maintenance and not play them catch up. Um, have we thought about, I know you've only been here for two years, but have we thought about like a three or five year plan of, because I, I mean, you're right, buildings are very important. Yeah, and uh, the answer is yes, we've thought about it, and uh, have we got it done yet? The answer there is no. Um, part of when we restructured a little bit and, and uh, Steve Newtsman became director of building and grounds, one of the things that he'll be charged, or has been charged with, um, is to develop a, a three or a five year plan so that we can plan for things uh, and look ahead so that we're not playing catch up uh, with, with buildings and, and try to stay out of the curve. So it's coming. Sometime during this academic week, we'll bring you a report. I think we should say too publicly that Steve and the guys are doing a really good job. Um, I know they've been catching some heat uh, in Wall Lake about some of the things that they're doing and some of the things aren't getting done like people think they should, but um, these guys these guys took on an awful lot this year. And I think a three to five year plan, a five year plan will help an awful lot with that. Mm -hmm. We don't have to fight off quite as much as we did this year. Yeah. Uh, I think it's really important to do what we did. But uh, just want to say that Steve and the guys are doing a really good job. And honestly, if you guys see them, tell them thank you. But they don't hear that enough. I would echo that. Um, are we there yet? No, and you'll see him walking around even this building. Uh, we're not there yet. We will be. Uh, and the guys and the gals really have worked their tails off. And they're changing, especially this particular building, uh, changing the landscape dramatically and what the, what the building looks like and what it feels like when you walk in. So, yeah, in all four buildings north side of the district, south side of the district, universal. Uh, the maintenance folks have been incredible. And uh, those same accolades are appropriate for the secretarial staff, too. Mm -hmm. With the yeah. exception of John. Is he secretarial? No, I'm kidding. What are some of the uh, criticisms of the Wall Lake program? 
Uh, well, not necessarily the program, but one of the things that happened was we had a we have a swing set on our playground, and there was a fence that ran behind the swing set, and uh, that fence was too close to the swing set, so it had to be moved. And we moved it into a place where a citizen of the town did not like it. So Mr. Feeney got to we bond it. Yeah, calm, calm down the citizen. And, I mean, it, it's fine now. Everything got worked out. But just you know, the, these these guys work so hard, and you talk about proud. I mean, these guys are proud to do what they're doing. And then you know, somebody comes and says, "Hey, this isn't right. Why did you do this?" And it was fine once we talked, right. communicated. It was just that the fence was coming here and it was too close. Instead of that, we had to uproot the whole um, yeah. swing set, and it made more sense at this point to move the fence back. And a citizen didn't like it. We talked through it that it's probably not a permanent situation, but it's better for kids, and it was fine. That, that's the kind of stuff that we talked about. Nothing of substance. Would you be able to remind us how much? Uh, how much was spent altogether on these projects this summer? Well, we can give you a much well, better figure next next uh, month, but I would estimate about eight hundred thousand, probably, give yeah. or take. When we approve things, Count, counting the rough. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Unless there's questions, summer update.